going. My hand is going forward. I am not doing this. When it says towel shouldn't touch your scrub, anytime I bring my towel in, I'm going to risk touching my scrubs. That's why I'm standing like this because I don't want it to happen. So my hand is actually going forward. Okay, I've gotten all the wetness off I'm going to get. I bring this hand over. I am going to serve the people. I am going to serve the people. You get that? Both hands under. This time I drop that one and I dry my other hand. Okay, I'm done. I will never, under any circumstances, take this towel back over to the other hand. I have just cross-contaminated. I have just contaminated. Whatever hand you end with, which I just ended with this one with the paper in, I bring it over. I am definitely in my box. I drop it. Sometimes the circulator will come over and take it away from you. I lay it on the trash, but I am in my box. Okay? Now, what do I need next? I need my gown. I get my gown a million ways, but what I want to avoid is reaching over everything. So what I would do is just come right here on the side. I cannot touch the paper at the bottom ever. Okay? Can't ever touch my paper bottom. All I want to do is, that's why I say, practice doing this. You need pinchers in the OR because your whole hand doesn't need to be. I don't need to come here and grab my gown like this. All I need to do is pinch it where the neck is, okay? When you work with Miss Walker, work with Miss Walker, she's going to reach in and she's going to grab the cuff and she's going to pull her gown. Miss Morgan does something different and Miss Huff does something different. But you know what? We all got different ways, but we don't touch the towel to us. We don't contaminate this. There's a million ways you can do it. None are wrong as long as you don't contaminate. If you're working with one of them and they show you something different and you go, oh, Miss Eason said you can't do it. They're not telling you you can't do it that way. They're just saying you contaminate it. That's why you're wrong. Because there's more ways to do it than just one way. So, Miss Walker will reach in under the cuff and grab hers. I like to pinch the edge and get mine. I like to grab mine right by the neck because that lets me know this neck part goes to my neck. Okay? It, this I grab mine by the neck because it's easier for me to remember the inside swoop here goes to me. So it doesn't matter where my gown is, I'm going to always pick it up right in that little corner if I can. Okay? Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to step away. I'm going to bring in both here. This is the way the gown is folded. The neck goes here just like I'm dressing in the morning. I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to put my hands like right here, like I'm hugging this gown just like this, and I'm going to let it fall. Okay? It's not going to fall all the way, but I'm not going to shake it. I'm not going to shake it at all. I'm going to take my right hand, watch my face. My right hand follows my arm all the way. I bring it here to remind me that this is my box. If I left it here and the circulator is doing something and I'm not paying attention, she could contaminate me and cause me three or four minutes where I have to go back and do all this again. So I'm taking my hand is I'm in, he, all the way to the end, not inside of my cuff, not passing my cuff, just to the very end and I'm bringing my hand here. The other side, come up, Jess. The other side, I'm following all the way, and then my hand goes in. Okay? Chelsea's gonna come behind me, and she's gonna secure my neck first. Okay? I can keep gowning and gloving, I'm just not gonna do it because I'm teaching, just to save time. She's reaching on the inside, and she's gonna tie me in. But I'm in my box, thank you, ma'am. Okay? Then I'm going to walk back over here where my gloves are. And the first pair I'm going to put on is seven and a seven and a half. What am I putting on first? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. 
I'm going to turn this sideways just so you can see me from the side. Okay. I can't come up here and do this. Okay? Because that's below table level. If this flap is touching me, I've contaminated it. Okay? So I'm going to have to stand here. And I'm going to reach in. I can't do my hands here because they're falling below the edge. I can't do that. So I've got to kind of have to do the wah. See that? <laughs> I'm going to have to come over. So I'm going to reach over my seven and a half. Now I'm going to open up my gloves. Okay? I can open them up completely all at once if I want to. Oh, and my flap just went down. Okay? I'm going to open this up completely. You kind of have to pull it because they will fall down. And I can do this. Okay? I completely open it or, excuse me for a minute, pause your tape. Which I find easier. Or I can do this. I can go in. I can open one side, grab my glove out, and come back. See the difference? Okay. Now, here's the crazy part. Well, it's not really the crazy part. All right. So, I can put the end of my cuff to this cuff here. See that? Now, I'm going to be working my hands on the inside, but this is basically what I'm going to be doing inside of this cuff. I'm going to have my pincher right here. My glove is here. I'm going to open that. I'm going to invert that in. I'm going to pull my glove up and slide my hands in. Woo. Okay. I cannot touch that cuff because my hands have passed through that cuff. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is come in on this side. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to completely cover my cuff. Okay? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go in. I'm going to get my glove out, and I'm going to step back. I'm going to put my glove all the way to the end. I'm going to invert it. And I'm going to slide it. Now I can make all the adjustments I want. I'm closed gloving. I can make any adjustments I want. Open gloving, I cannot. Close, I can. Okay, you get that? Okay, I'm not done yet because I've got another pair of gloves, okay? So I'm gonna reach in now. I can do all this open in the air now, not a problem. I can open both again this way. This time I'll just choose to do it open. I've opened all of that. I'm going to take my right glove out. I'm going to do it, make it easy on myself this time. I'm going to pull it open and I'm going to open up my second pair and stick my hand straight in there. Well, it's supposed to be easy, but I'm making it look hard. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to step back. Okay. See how nice that fits with the bigger pair on the inside? Gives me a little bit more room, but it cuts the air. All right, now, I can throw away my trash now, or I can completely finish dressing before I throw away my trash. Any way you choose, however you remember is fine, okay? On your gown, all of it is sterile. The whole thing is sterile. But I'm going to pass a part to my circulator, but she cannot touch my white part. She has to touch my blue part. See how that's divided? Okay, so this is my field. This is the crazy question we saw a minute ago. This is my field. Okay, I am going to pull it from this side. There's still a side attached. 
I pull with my left and hold it right here in my box. I am going to hand this to her. She's only going to touch the blue part. Okay? What happens if I turn with her? What am I doing? Turn it back, back on your turn field. Turn my back to my field, which I should never do. Okay? Oh, well, I won't teach you that part yet. Okay? She's going to come and dance around me while I'm still looking at my field. Okay? She is going to pass this tag to me. She's going to pull it completely off. Okay? I'm not going to let my tags fall below here. If I do, guess what? Contaminated. I've contaminated. So when she gives it to me, I'm going to hold it up high, and I'm going to make myself a nice little bow. Now my strings are in my box. Now I'm going to get rid of my trash. I'm going to do it the same way I do for open gloving. I'm going to grab all of this. I'm going to come here. I'm going to stay within my box. And I'm going to drop. Plus we don't have little trash cans like that. So it would be a big one. And most times I would hit it. Okay? And then here I am. No. Oh, no. Thank you. Right here. Lord, please let this case go <laughs> I'm going to cry a few screams at me. Hope I got everything right in the room I need. Mm. Let me think last minute. Got everything. I think I'm good. Looks easy? Not really until you've done it a million times. Okay? Any questions on counting and gloving? The open gloving, we think of that one inch border. And in the closed gloving, we don't have to be concerned with that That's one right. inch board. That's right. Okay. On, on your mayo, you do. Right. right. Okay. But on anything mayo, within you do that. It. On the inside, there, awesome. is, there is no border. Okay. Great question. Great why question. Sorry. Well, why is that one inch unsterile during closed? Because you're now sterile. Okay. That changes the whole game plan. You're now sterile, and it doesn't matter. Any questions? They call me, you look like every day. You're like, nah, this is easy. <laughs> okay? Um, okay, so I'm working in the case, I'm working in the case, and oh, contaminated my glove. What am I going to do? Circular. Step okay? away from I'm going to extend my hand to her. Chelsea, I want you to grab like right there and start pulling off. Okay? She's going to, first she's going to go put on, I'm holding it. First, she's going to go put on her some latex gloves first, and then she's going to pull my contaminated glove off, okay? All right. Now, if you've got on two pair of gloves, it doesn't matter. You can just keep working with this one. If you have another pair, you just go ahead and get your next pair and then just put it on. But I'm talking about if you have one pair of gloves on. You guys don't really have to worry about that because you're going to have up two. But you can contaminate both. Both, yeah. You can contaminate both. Okay, so Chelsea is going to, let's just say I have on one. I've contaminated. Go ahead and take that off. Okay? And what she should try to do, okay, hang on before you do that. <laughs> try to pull my cuff back down as far as you can over my hand. She's going to try to pull that down. Okay? All right? So then that leaves me here. Okay? So now I have to open glove. Okay? And let's just say, you don't see me doing this, but let's just say I have a pair of gloves on my field. Or the circulator comes and she opens. This is my back table, so all of this is sterile, okay? So then, now I can either say, hey, Dr. So-and-so, could you help me put my glove on? Which is, I think, just wimpy and poor, okay? Or I can just get my right glove out, because it's sterile. Everything on my back table is sterile. I can just pick my glove up. And now I have to do the open glove technique. So if your already gloved hand touches your cuff, the white part of your cuff, down, is that considered contaminated? That's contaminated because okay. your hands have already yeah. gone through it. Yeah, that's supposed to go through your cuff. That's correct. Okay. Did I touch? Yes. Oh, yeah. sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes. Never touch. Okay. Let me do it again. Yeah. <laughs> do my left one. Do my left one. They just pulled both of them off. Okay. Oh. No, you're fine. Okay. So then now I'm sterile. 
I can grab that out. And see, sometimes you'll get that gap. You have to keep working with it until you have completely covered all the whiteness. <laughs> Got it. Okay. All right, let me finish.